It's your boy Zappa, professional state ninja, and welcome to my room. This is the new PC and the subsequent setup. My boy, oh, I'm trying to get this these angles. I guess I gotta hold the camera weird. My boy Deuce Programmer helped me put together and physically assembled my computer. Gave me this dope ass fan light, which I think is part of my motherboard or processor. I don't know what computer things. Put this dope ass decal on here for Celestial Bing. So shout outs to him. Uh, he also streams, so I'm gonna put a link to his stream in the description below. But I mostly wanted to show off my collection of giant robots. There are no giant robots here. However, right here, we have Super Robot Wars Alpha, the premium edition. Comes with Alpha 3, Alpha 2, and if I can do this one handed, ah, yes, of course. Inside this box is what says, you know, more Alpha Premium Edition. Comes with. Oh, again, doing this all one handed. Alpha Gaiden, and a very playing case. I'm going to set that dangerously right here. Also comes with proper manuals for Alpha and Alpha Gaiden. So if you have a, an extra PlayStation case or jewel case, you can put those in there. And the Alpha History Book, which I can't read. This is very difficult to do one-handed. I didn't think this through. And of course, because Alpha is in use for recording, it's over here. Check that out. That's all it has inside the case is just the disc and the small warning label. Over here is something that I unboxed about a year or two ago. The Alpha Limited Edition comes with a wonder, uh, not a wonder swan, a pocket station strap, a bunch of phone charms, Alpha, a character book, all that good stuff. Uh, I got some physical copies of Repro Carts, a ROM hack of Final Fantasy VI, my Japanese Parasite Eve that we saw for Christmas, my quote unquote signed copy of Sonic that I got from my favorite stringer Cthulhu the Third. I told him, hey, you got extra? Send it to me, sign it. So he just slapped an end knuckles on there. Japanese Falcon profile. Repro of Harvest Moon. Now, the more important thing that I want to get to, which this is making my arm a bit tired, not necessarily my gold G Savior, my swap disc for the GameCube, an extra one, just want an extra copy of Compact 2 Part 2, my microphone, extra stuff, my physical copy of G Savior, the light is bouncing really badly off of that. I'm going to close that up here for a little bit and come this way with my shaky hands to show my Super Robot Wars collection. Here's my Wonder Swan that I actually used with a little Armor of Bear keychain. Put him aside. Over here we have Robot Wars EX for the Famicom, Super Famicom, excuse me. We have a copy of F Final for the Saturn, and a copy of F for the Saturn, but it didn't come with a case. I have this though, so at least there's that. I have my copy of OG Saga Endless Frontier, the American release, but inside I have my copies of OG 1 and 2. For the PSP, we have MX, the remake, a portable, which just got a translation a couple years ago, or maybe just a year, Z2 Part 1, Z2 Part 2, I really don't know which one is which, I think this is Part 1 because the X is there and Part 2 has the double L. Over here, we have Impact, PlayStation 2, my first copy of Alpha 2. My first copy of Alpha 3, my compact game's falling over. We'll get to y'all so you can move. 
uh, OG Gaiden, and Zet. Of course, over here, my crowning achievement of all the compact games. There's Compact the First, Compact Part 1, Compact Part 2, and Compact 3 the final, as well as Compact 3 itself. Ah, my hand! Holding the camera by hand. And then over here we have OG, Infinite Battle, and Dark Prison. Unfortunately when I bought that, I bought it off eBay. So the code for Dark Prison doesn't work. But I have Infinite Battle. I think it's a fight game. I haven't actually booted it up. We have Z, 3, Part 2, and Part 1. Once again, I don't know which one is which. And for the PS4, we've got Moon Dwellers, Robot Wars V, Robot Wars X, and Robot Wars T. With lastly, the Steelbook for X that came as a pre-order upgrade. So that's all of my Super Robot Wars games. In a moment, we will jump over to all of my anime. So, down here, we have my collection of mini video games, a few little robot boys on the side. Unfortunately, it's all kind of mixed in games that I've collected, as well as the giant robot games that aren't Super Robot Wars. Here, I've just got an adapter for the Famicom so I can play my import games, of which I have Hero Senki, uh, hold on. SD Gundam Gachapon Senshi 2, Gachapon Senshi 3, and SD Gundam Night Story. It very much is like Dragon Quest, but Night Gundam. We have the rest of my Wonder Swan games G Generation Gather Beat for non color, G Generation Gather Beat 2 for color, and then. Two games that I actually forget the name of, but it's the same adventure from different sides. You have your fantasy side and your, your uh, Sengoku Samurai side. I really should have looked it up, but I did. But it's, it, it, it's got that vibe of Pokemon Red and Blue where everything's the same but it's slightly different. I should have looked that up. I'm so sorry. Over here. We've got Gundam War Dramatic Starter. It's a card game. We can't read it. We don't know the rules. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to start on this far side over here. I have, without a case, Front Mission 3. Uh, also without a case, Gundam Battle Assault 2. In the Toonami soundtrack case, I think that's more than appropriate. We have Xenogears, Brave Saga, the game that I tested in my video for playing Japanese games, Japanese PS1 on a PS2. Then I have accidentally two copies of, uh, come on Mike, SD Gundam G Century, one that is regular and one is PlayStation the best. I know I picked up one at San Japan this past year, and I think it was the regular one and didn't know that I already had the other version. Uh, uh, SD Gundam Gachapon Wars for the GameCube. Uh, this I have played on my channel. I played it one time. I just can't remember the name right now. Once again, I apologize for not having looked up these names before. But as much as this looks like a VHS case, this is for the Super Famicom. Real Robot Renbu, I think. That that feels right. Even though I still don't really consider Dunbine real robots, they are. SD Gundam G Next. Which, this big old case, is actually because it's got that Satellaview adapter going on, so you could download some extra stages. It was like five bucks on eBay. 
And the last thing off in that corner is just my collector's edition of Indivisible. No giant robots there. Uh, over here, what is actually missing, and y'all know I have this because you've been watching the channel, I'm sure. I have G-Generation Crossrays as well as G-Generation Genesis over yonder at the computer station. For giant robots on the PS4, we have Gundam Breaker 3. That's piled in there. New Gundam Breaker that the Queen of Space picked up in her escapades over in California, California Colony. The regular Gundam Versus. I'm very excited for, uh, oh heck, what is it? Ba -ba -ba, what is it called? I can't remember the name of it. Maxi Boost. Maxi Boost On is coming to consoles instead of that. Uh, skipping ahead, we got a bunch of American games here, we've got Kamen Rider games, Deception, Trapped, and then Front Mission 4. We have Mobile Suit Gundam Encounters in Space. Mobile Suit Gundam vs. Zeta Gundam. The first Gundam vs. game, that was actually good. We have here SD Gundam script. SD Gundam, what the fuck am I saying? Super Robot Wars Scramble Commander. As much as it is a Super Robot Wars game, it's a different type of game, so I didn't put it with the other ones. Scramble Commander the second. With Razafon. Holy shit, I forgot this had Razafon in it. And what is this last one? Ah! Another Century's episode. The first. Which means. Somewhere mixed in all of this. Aha! Another Century's episode. Ah! So we're gonna sh shuffle these back around so that at least the import games are close to each other. It's, I don't need to be organizing these things on camera right now, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Put the two deception games together, and the third deception game. And lastly, this little slim pack over here is the first, okay, not the first, but the second Super Robot Wars game I ever played. I didn't have original copies back then, and I've yet to pick another one up, but I do have at least the PSP version of Super Robot Wars MX. Ah, awesome. But yes, soon we will move upwards to the DVDs. We'll be right back when I reposition the camera. Coming over here to the massive wall of Gunpla that you've probably seen in a few of my Gunpla reviews. I won't go over each and every one of those because we're here to show off physical media. I'm going to see how well I can... No, that's not going to work. I'm trying to position the camera in just a spot just a nice way so it's no longer shaky cam and I can pull things off the shelf to the best of my ability we have Gundam the origin all episodes that are currently available I'm gonna leave that right there MS igloo that's a metal plate that's part of my shelving so things don't fall off the side into the void Thunderbolt, December Sky, as well as Bandit Flower. I'll have to go take these down for later. The original OG series. Unfortunately, that is missing the Dones Island episode. Alas, both have there. Uh, the Gundam Movie Trilogy. I used to have three individual videos, but I decided to upgrade and save some shelf space. As you can see, the shelf is full. 8th MS Team also includes Miller Report, Warren Zapocket, Stardust Memory, and what I'm going to do real quick, I think, no, that's not what I want. This is what I want. Just a little nudge upward. There you go. We put that DV, that Blu-ray case right under the camera. No, it's too high. 
Eh, heck. That's about right. That's what I want. Okay, back on point. We have all of the original Zeta Gundam series. We have a new translation. Double Zeta. As acquired as soon as it came out from Right Stuff. Sars Counterattack. Unicorn the movie series. Because they never released the, the episodic series. Which is a shame. But I don't think I would buy that two times over. F91. Victory Gundam. The best movie you've never seen, G Savior. The original release of G Gundam on DVD. The original release of Gundam Wing on DVD. The original Endless Waltz. Gundam X on DVD. There was, there is, or was, an opportunity for me to upgrade that, but the, our house has more readily available DVD players, especially in our laptops, so it's easier to have DVDs to watch stuff when we're not at home or not at a console. The Turn A DVD series. And Turn A movies. Some of these, as you can tell, haven't even been opened. The original Gundam Seed. Oh, these are out of order. That's what happened. The Gundam Seed Collection. As well as the remake of the final episode known as Final Plus. It gives a slightly different ending where things are less stupid. The Gundam 00 Season 1 and 2. I used to have the individual DVDs that were like three episodes per DVD. Upgraded to that stuff to save space. And back to Blu-rays we have Gundam 00 Special Edition, which is basically the series done as movies. Much in the way that we have uh, OG and Zeta Gundam as movies and the Turn A movies. The original Awakening of the Trailblazer. I really don't like this box art because it's got this like color wash over it that makes it seem like it's a bootleg, but it's not. And then they used the same picture for like the coffee tumbler, so that makes it look like it's a bootleg, but it's not. Gundam Age. Only open to do research to when I found out that Lady Beard did a voice, or actually I think three. Uh, the movie Memory of Eden, that comes from part two. G Reco, I don't know why I held it sideways, sorry. And lastly, over here, the box set for Iron Blood and Orphans. Now, down below, buried under my, uh, my backlog down there, are the boxes that also include the two pearlized color model kits that I'm never gonna build. Way back in this corner over here, we're going to see how hard it is to get these out, so I might have to yank these forward a bit just to make room to pull everything. So let me do that. Because this is where the collection gets big and wild. And hopefully I don't pull anything out too far and knock it off the shelf like an idiot. Because we all know that I have fumble hands. We have build fighters. We'll set that here for the sake of not hitting that thing too many times. Build Fighters try. Unfortunately, they never gave us Divers. Where's my Divers DVD, y'all? And Gundam Evolve. Now this should be easy to do. What we have is the original American release of SD Gundam Force. The interesting story behind all of these, and this is just four of the uh, nine boxes, you see they just fell over, is that when I went to go buy them, the first two were fairly DVD priced. I think, you know, nine and ten dollars a piece. 
And then three, four, five, six, seven, and eight were all with shipping less than twenty dollars total. So some of them were like a dollar, two dollars a piece, to the point where shipping costs more than the DVD itself. So here are these four. But then it gets super weird because this last one, the last two episodes of the series, two episodes, cost me $40 because it was just such that hard to find. Matter of fact, even the entire second season, which includes uh, edited back in endings that came from the first season, was only like 20 bucks at the time. Good luck finding those. Uh, beyond that, we have something I had to get on sale at the time because even, like the special editions are twice as expensive as this, and even these, I'll know a zero. The four, the, these four discs, boxes, were about thirty dollars a piece. We have apple seed. We have apple seed X3 or 13. I'm really not sure how that's supposed to go. Uh, Arcadia of my youth. Now, I know this isn't really, you know, giant robot, super robot show, whatever, but I have it because it got into Super Robot Wars. I may well experience Captain Harlock. We have the two seasons of Arjavalan. Ashura Crying. Now, a lot of these shows I haven't even watched yet, so I own stuff that I haven't seen, like Arcadia of My Youth, R.J. Hallin, Atom the Beginning, a sort of retelling or pre-state to Astro Boy. We have Aquarion, as well as Aquarion Evolve. I think when I bought this, you had to get the first DVD came with the box and then the second one was like this or I'm an idiot are these blu-rays it's maybe both that's fine now uh, yeah this is all blu-ray oh well that is what it is so I think I actually bought that from a Funimation booth at a at a, at a, at a, at a convention table which I rarely do. We have Aquarium Logos for as inferior as it was to the previous two series. If you've seen it, you kind of realize that the entire series kind of declines. Space Warrior Baldios. And these are alphabetized by like proper or popular name. So like Dunbine is not going to be under A for Aura Battler, it's going to be under D for Dunbine. Balder Force. EXE Basquash <laughs> Bitter Man The Big O Steel Book, also another one that I bought from a convention, uh, an official dealer at convention, like not a reseller. Not a table, but like, you know, Nozomi or whomever. Sentai Filmworks, that's what it was. Sentai Filmworks had a table. Blue Gender, which was on Adult Swim, and I never knew that it was a mech show. It's like, oh, they're killing bugs, this is boring, I don't care. Brain Powered, also known as Tomino Phone Times number three. Uh, that shifted over. Don't do that. Brave Witches, because I will count Mecha Musume. You don't like it? Don't watch it. Don't care. Broken Blade. But it's still wrapped in plastic. Haven't watched some of this stuff. Buddy Complex. We have both halves of Captain Earth. That was a good show. I have a model kit for it. One day I'll just do that. We have Kodias Season 1. 
followed by Akito's Exile. Code Geass R2. And the Code Geass Movie Trilogy. And then Code Geass Lelouch of the Resurrection. So, to my understanding, this rewrites some incidents and endings, and then Resurrection built off of these rewrites. This is also steel book. Both of these are steel books. I guess that's what was available. I mean, I'm not that picky. I just tend to wait for things to go on sale. Unless it's a must have. But even then, right stuff will get you on sale. PDQ. Cross Ange, which I had an unpleasant endeavor with on uh, Amazon once. How do you send someone a box set without one of the discs? Without the original, like, DVD box case. I don't get it. Cybernetics Guardian. Which is a very obscure show. With OVA from, you know, the OVA days. Dan Kuga. Maybe one day they'll come out with the rest of Dan Kuga. And Diamond Dollar. Now that's just the end of this show. Because this show ends at D. So I'm going to shuffle all these boys back in. And we're going to reposition the camera and the lights. And we'll be back in a moment to go over all of that. Okay, now that we've relocated, things are going to get kind of interesting for this angle. Because you can see we're not only two shelves in, but two shelves deep. Back where we left off, B continues with Dagger. We're gonna see. Yeah, I'm gonna start that pile. Dai Shogun. Both has of Darling and the Franks. Die Buster. The movie. The movie. I don't know. Oh, I have the movie here. Downstairs, my roommate has the series proper. I might nab that from him, but that is his and not mine. Huh, I put that on the shelf backwards. Down the Igar, uh, which is just a series of like shorter episodes. Something that came out and I wasn't able to watch it when it came out. Dual Parallel Trouble Adventure. Good old original release. Saw that shit back on uh, G4, Tech TV, whatever you want to call that station. Uh, this is more fun Evangelion. Happy ending Evangelion. There's Dunbine. Esplones. We have Eureka 7. That's the pile. Eureka 7, Good Night Sleep Tight Young Lovers. And Eureka 7, Another Ocean. I don't have the series proper, but I did pay for and thus nabbed up the Ava movies. 1.1, you are not alone. 2.2, you cannot advance. I hate that that stick is right on front. That's, that's an asshole move. 3.33, thou cannot redo. Hasn't even been opened yet. Uh, Fafner and... Uh, the complete series plus Heaven and Earth, which is the sequel movie, but it does not contain Right of Left. The like, I think it's like an OVA or maybe like two or three episode prequel. That's dumb. Why isn't that in there? The Frame Arms Girl TV series. Full Metal Panic proper. Full Metal Panic Fumofu. Full Metal Panic Second Raid. And the fourth series, Full Metal Panic IV, or Invisible Victory. Which I guess is based on the novels that got into the most recent Super Bowl or stuff. Gadgar! Dynamic Gaiki! Alas, they never put uh, Legend of Daiku Marty on, on disc. Gargantia. 
Uh, Genlock, which I bought this at Walmart. I would like to sit and watch this one day, but if I'm going to start watching random ass anime off my shelves, I'm going to watch them in alphabetical order. Get a Robo. What is barely considered a mecha series also picked up at Walmart. Get Sack. I would at least like to own second season, second gig. I don't care too much about the movies, but I guess as a completionist, I should kind of get in there one day. Goldanar. God of Arts. I guess this is something I would watch out of order. Fucking God Mazinger. Like, I know it was a YouTube series that's going over the visual history of Mecha. Did not mention God Mazinger. Like... <laughs> it's not a bootleg, it's a real thing. But, I don't know what it is. It's never even been in Super Robot Wars and it's Mazinger. Go Shogun, the TV series. Go Shogun, the Time It Tranger, the sequel movie. Psycho Armor Govarion, another Go Guy product. Gravion and Gravion Zvi. And then Slim Packs. Can't find those anymore. Volume 1 of Great Dangayo. Volume 2. Now this last one up here, that's just my Harvest Moon guy. That is it. But we're going to go to our second shelf. There's Volume 3 and 4 of uh, uh, Don Gaio, uh, Great Don Gaio. Don Gaio the Great. SS SS Bridoman. Guilty Crown. Gunbuster the movie, which I should pop in at some juncture to see if like the last part is also in black and white. I'm sure fucking looks like it is. Ain't nothing wrong with that though. I'm not mad. I was miffed the first time I saw it, like, is this wrong? Are these bad rips? Gun Parade March. Gun it, sword. The legend. Heroic Age. Looks like another case of the uh, seed face. Handy object. Infinite Stratos. And unfortunately. Infinite Stratos Part 2 only comes in like a deluxe box set with a bunch of unnecessary stuff that I don't care about. But fortunately I didn't have to put that whole full size full size box on my shelf like horizontally. This was inside so that gets to go on the shelf while the rest is just hanging out in, in my closet. Gym Key Extend. Knights of Sidonia. Knights and Magic. That was a great show. Langrange, the Flower of Rene. The only English releases of Machine Robo we got. And then they freaking dropped it. They dropped it. We got three and then they dropped it. Gets up to episode 15. And then after that, you have to go to the internet and find fan subs. I think all of that's available at Crab Sticks. Macross Plus. That was like one of my first experiences with Macross, and that was a good time. Majestic Prince. Another case of Seed Same Face. I don't have regular Mazinger, but I have Great. Every time I see regular Mazinger, it's like $100 for the first half and I'm not paying that price. Boz Energy Infinity. That was a nice Walmart pickup. Shin Mazinga Z Shogeki Z Head. Mazinger Edition Z Z Impact. The remake, which is basically the Mazinger Z that we've been getting in Robot Wars since it appeared in Z. Or Z2, rather. 
new Getter Robo, this box set which is incredibly rare. Now, at one point, I had actually not wanted or wanted to make space for more DVDs, and like an idiot, I gave away some of my uh, my my some of this, and then I was like, no, no, I should get that back. Now, all I'm trying to do here is to place them in order. Yeah, there we go. Thirteen episodes, four on one, three on the others, but. If you go and search for these individually, you're really only going to find like one and two. Three and four just don't seem to exist. Good old Nabisco! Nobunaga the Fool! Super Dimension Century Orgus! I was so glad when I found out that this came out. I was just like, oh yes! It's one of the few mecha shows that my uh, roommate actually wants to watch, but can't because it's not dubbed and he doesn't have time. Sometimes you just don't have time to watch subtitles, or you can. It's a shame. Pacific Rim, regular and uprising. Now, here's a hard part that I don't know how to begin. I have Pat Labor, the regular TV series. It says on the side, the television series. But I have Pat Labor, the new files. Pat Labor, the OVA. And then Pat Labor, double X 13, the third movie. Now, what we do have in the house, downstairs, my roommate owns box set special editions of Pat Labor movie one and two. That's why I don't have it up here, it's not mine, I don't need to buy a second copy, at least not anytime soon. But the question is, in what order, in what order are you supposed to engage in Pat Labor? Because I know some of these are like alternate universes or new timelines or unrelated events, but where do you start? Where do you actually start? Thus is the question I pose unto you, the viewer. And even if you watch this five, six, seven years down the line, commentary, I love it. We're down to the second shelf now. <coughs> Pardon me, a little dusty. And just this, be, because of the way that I'm going, like once this more stuff starts filling up on this last section, I'll start shifting this and filling these out more. So this is just the spillover from the back room. We have, Ray Earth, which is the most unique box that I own, like, I love and hate it at the same time. That's, it, it's, it's kind of cool, it's just, a, but because it's a different shape, it's kind of, kind of, eh. Regalia, the Three Sacred Stars. And Raiding, not the original Raiding, by Tomino. Way at the ass end of this last shelf. We have, for some reason, oh, because there's a sticker on there, that's why. I peel that sticker off, that's what happened. Uh, robotics notes. Planzet, which I found through Sentai Filmworks website. Didn't even know this was a thing. I'll check that out eventually. Is this a movie or two? Yeah, it's a, it's a single movie. That's probably something I can put on in the background. That wouldn't hurt. Cybuster, the series based upon uh, the Maho Kishin robot of the same name. But not the same characters. Big ass box set of Razafon with the, again, 10 slim packs. Uh, Sailor Victory. Which is a, just a couple of episodes. Uh, Sakura Tyson, which I'm going to actually put that over there because of my watching habits. I'm going to start popping that in. Uh, kind of watching it alongside Shin Sakura Tyson. Here we go, Sakura Wars the movie. Shin Getter Robo versus Neo Getter Robo. Yeah, okay. Stilavia? Complete TV series. Sokyo No Strain. Strike Witches 1. 
as well as Strike Witches too. Something that I accidentally bought two of, but I gave away one at Gundam Jeopardy, was the Super Robot Wars collection. This, I thought was, uh, this, because this is Divine Wars, I forget what the other one is, but this is the original, like, OBA plus the Divine Wars series, Inspector. They haven't put Inspector on DVD, not that I'm aware of yet, not that I found. Now, here's something I bought without reading. We have Tech Command Blade, but then I also purchased Techno Man. Now, for both of them, I paid around the same amount total, which isn't bad. But the thing is, what I didn't really understand until I really read into it after I paid for everything is that Techno Man is a specific. It is a specific edit of the dub that shortens the series it kind of, you know it, it, it's the dub but it shortens the series by several episodes and I think things end slightly different but then over here on Tekaman Blade it's subbed and does it have the dub? yeah it, but it's also subbed or redubbed and not edited down so it's I have two of the same show but one of them is slightly different. So I'm not mad that I own it both. Or own them both. What I thought I was buying here with Techno Man was like an original dub of the first Tekka Man. Anyway, Tekka Man Blade 2, the OVA. The third, the girl with the blue eye. Uh, the one type Bokan thing that I bought, there is some mecha stuff going on there. Uh, time Bokan Royal Revival. So that ought to be a fun watch when I get around to it. We have Undefeated Bahamut Chronicle. I think that's in the Power Armor show. Vandred, the collection. I'm glad that the whole thing is here. Vivid Red Operation, more scantily clad underage girls in power armor, but it's the power armor. Voltez 5, where's my Combatler V? I want it now. Give me that. Voltron. Voltron. The original Voltron. Found that at Walmart. We have... The Votoms collection, we have the TV series, OVAs 1 and OVAs 2. Unfortunately, to my uh, understanding, is none of this contains the side story Armor Hunter Mellow Wink. Dumb. Wait, hold on. It includes this complete two episode series plus six compilation movies. Okay, that's just compilation movies. This uh, contains the nine final day episodes, uh, but none of this says anything. Yeah, I had to make sure none of them say anything about Armor Hunter Melody. So if I can find that on DVD or something, I'm, I'm in there. Zaboon Guru, a fun time. Tell me no fun times, number one. Number one? Number two. I think number one is, is Dite Hunter. Idol Master Xenoglossa. I got those for like two bucks a pop or four bucks a pop. I don't remember. Uh, Hades Project Zayo Rhymer. Check that out in MX to make it make sense. The other one that I've gotten rid of and managed to get back for a, 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 a partially $20 is the Zone of the Enters Anime Collection. You have uh, 20, 67, Idolo, and then the proper TV series, Dolores Eye. And then lastly at the end, they're not DVDs, but rather manga. This is Gundam 00F. I marked this page for a reference point, I think. I don't remember what. But three of the four of these were in... No, I think all four, matter of fact. All four of these may have been included when I was buying the special editions of Gundam 00 Season 2, 
because I got special editions for the first one and two box sets in season one, and those came with uh, the double O manga. And then something a friend of mine sent to me when they found them at a half price, and I can't find the third book. It's the original novelization of Gundam. And <laughs> this has some shit in it. It calls Zaku's Zox. Zax. Like, and then it implies, this book implies that in space, when you are on your ship, what's keeping you attached to the floor when you walk is goddamn Velcro. Velcro doesn't work that way. Or hook and pile tape, magic tape, depending on your preference and how much you want to refer to things as a brand name. But, that's it. I own a lot of robots, and I will continue to own more robots. You can't stop me. Except my wallet can stop me. With this whole expensive new setup, that'll stop me. But, I thank y'all for watching. Maybe in a few more years I'll come back at you with some updates. Sig Zia.